we're back to the desert, ladies and gentlemen. This time we are in Gansu province, one of the northernmost provinces in China. And behind me, I'll show you the beautiful desert that we're about to go in and explore. Of course, as many other places in China on weekends, it's full of people, but looks beautiful and magnificent. We'll see all the camels, caravans, going around, enjoying the weather and the beautiful desert of northern China. You see on this side, there are all the camels waiting for people to ride them and go around the desert. And this side is something unusual that sounds really cool. It's a fashion show because apparently it's this city's fashion week this week. So probably they're kind of rehearsing and then maybe tonight will be the fashion show. We're gonna keep walking around this place. It looks awesome, beautiful, massive. I think I found the most cool thing ever that you can find in a desert. I don't know if every desert has this, but we have a traffic light for people and camels. Take a look to this. So right now we're supposed to stop because the camels are passing by. And of course we gotta wait until the light switch to green and then we can pass. And there you go. Now it's green, we can go. And the camels are gone. It's the Crescent Moon Mountain. There's supposed to be like a lake in the other side and later we're just gonna go all the way to the top. Maybe in the camera it doesn't look that big, but it's actually quite high. It will take us a few minutes to reach the top. Our plan is just to stay here until the sunset because today we have a very beautiful clear sky so definitely sunset will be awesome we're getting ready i got my desert hat and the shoe cover i'll show you very colorful by the way that everybody has uh, when they come here because when you come to these kind of places you will have sand in very undesirable places so definitely it's better to come here very well covered especially if you're planning to go in the sand and get in there and play uh, with the sand so it's good to be covered of culture now here in China. It's becoming a booming sensation uh, to perform for social networks like TikTok or Douyin here in China. <laughs> there you have, so those are the dancing aunties or the dancing ayis, as you call them here in China. Uh, they're everywhere. It's a booming thing right now here. Like you can see a lot of people of all ages performing for their phones and streaming live or just making short videos for Douyin or TikTok. So it's becoming a thing here. Oh my god, now I'm more in love with this country than ever. This is the kind of places I've been telling you in every single video I make. Every time I go to these spectacular places that you do not expect to find these kind of buildings. In the middle of the desert, you have this beautiful traditional architecture, Chinese architecture, in the middle of nowhere because basically all we have around is sand and desert. But here we are, enjoying in a very beautiful 
uh, surroundings with very beautiful architecture. I decided to take off my shoe cover and my hat because I'm in a place where there are not much sand. Of course, except for all around this place, but here, this is basically like a very Chinese traditional building. My back, very beautiful by the way, and where we can have a very nice view of the Crescent Moon Lake that gives a name to this place here. This water used to be underground before and then later through a natural phenomenon it just came out and it formed that little lake in the back. And later we're planning to go all the way up there. You see the huge mountain of sand? Yeah, that's the place we're gonna go later on. So we're just taking a break because we've been walking uh, for a while already today. So we're just taking a break, enjoying the very good light from the sun right now. And I put my hat back and I put my shoe covers and it's time to go to the top of the hill. up a staircase to heaven because it's so high we're already tired and you can see down I don't want to look down because we're getting higher and higher but of course the higher the better the view we're going to get and we have made it we reached the very top of one of the hill from where we have a very impressive view. I'll show you in just a second. This is really priceless. The view that you can get from here, all the way from the top. That is really magnificent. This is the moment we were waiting for since the time. The sun is about to set right now and we're going to enjoy a beautiful and privileged view of this at very moment from the very top of this hill here in Tumpang City. My friends, that was it for now. This is the desert of China in Dunhuang City, Gangtu Province. We're now going down uh, through this uh, super high hill, which is kind of scary. It's like when you look down, we're quite high, but we are just walking down like casually. It's not that hard. Even though the gravity pushes you down, the sand helps you to slow down. So it's kind of, you know, like helping you not to go all the way down. And let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to any of these places, if you knew there was such a beautiful desert like this here in China. Remember to like, subscribe if you haven't, and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day today and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow-up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.